Hello Darts Nuts, I've got another set of darts to review here. These are from the new Sword Edge range by 180 Darts. This is the Broad Sword 24g VHD Tungsten Steel Tip. VHD is very high density tungsten, I think it just means that they're above 90% tungsten. Uh, What's it says? Sword Edge Professional Dart. Our Sword Edge range darts have been inspired by the feeling of having many shaped edges side by side for the ultimate grip. By creating these special triangular grooves, this feeling has been achieved. As the grooves are not very deep, the tungsten loss is minimal during the production compared to the half round or square rings. This enables the fingertips to have a continuous positive contact with the dart and not leave empty spaces under the finger as is the case with other types of grooving. They act in a similar way to nail but without the quick wear of it. The minim minimal tungsten loss for these rings has enabled us to design these u uniquely shaped darts for the players. So that's the idea behind the sword edge range of uh, barrel grip. I think they are a very grippy looking dark dart. Um, as you can see, it comes in the solly box. The retail price for these is forty nine ninety nine. Took the flights off there with it. I'm not going to mention too much about the uh, solly box because I've already talked about that before. I think these are the new 180 Pro Plus stems as well. And these are the Gladiator standard shape flights. Quite a few different ranges in the sword edge range, so I'm sure there's something that will suit everyone, especially if you like grippy darts. And these, just looking at the barrels themselves, these look to be slightly front weighted to me. As usual, all the 180 darts are handmade. So everything's inspected closely before they leave the factory and the quality is usually very good. I've not seen any bad ones yet. And once again that transition from the point to the barrel is so smooth. That's one neat feature I like about the 180 range. Alright, I'll put a close look of the... Uh, out now so you can see it up close. Right, here's a close look at this broadsword 24 gram dart. As you can see you've got that smooth transition from the point to the barrel and then you've got a tapered nose with this triangular grooved grip. It's a really nice grip that to be honest. It's kind of reminds me of a, a sharper edged micro grip and then the, the slightly smooth section there and then there's another smooth ring towards the middle but the, the main part of that grip continues for the, most of the barrel you should be able to see it's got a, it's like a triangular edge to it almost like a tooth shape but it's ringed all the way around so it's not angled or anything like a shark grip but you can still feel it biting into your fingers but I wouldn't say it was like overly aggressive I don't think it's as aggressive as a, a shark grip it just feels nice and secure I think I like this front part to be in like I think I like it more than this two sections because if you look closely the the grooves seem to be a little bit closer together uh, 
Um, I pick it up naturally. I tend to be on that little smooth part and the front grippy part. That's where I'm probably naturally going to grip it, but this barrel could probably just suit anyone really. Front grippers and rear grippers, unless you grip it right on the edge which is another smooth section so I don't really know why they didn't continue that grip up a little bit further but there you go as you can see it's a little bit thicker at the front there and it tapers gently to the bones of the back so I should imagine it's going to be front balance there's a, a very nice grip that I wouldn't say it was uh, as high level, but it's probably just about high. I think it's because the grip is quite close together. It was more widely spaced and it would feel more aggressive, but it still has plenty of bite. And I don't think you're going to have any problems with the dart slipping. I'm pushing my thumb across it now and it's grabbing it. I do like the fact it's got the grip at the front as well. That should just help with a little bit more control of the down. And there's your uh, Pro Pass stems and your Gladiator flights. Some nice designs on the Gladiator flights. Right, just let you have a look at the barrel. Never really sure how good it comes up when I'm doing it on the camera, so it's hard to, to know exactly what's happening until I play it back. Well, that's your quick close look at the barrel. Now I'll put a detailed close up with all the measurements. Here's a close look at the Broadsword 24 gram darts. It's got a 28mm point, then there's a long slanted nose which starts with a smooth section of 5.3mm and then there's the sword edge grip of 6.5mm long and then there's a smooth section of 3.2mm. Then it starts into a wider spaced sword edge grip of 10.3mm length and there's a smooth band in the middle of the barrel of 2.5mm and then the sword edge grip continues for a further 14.4 millimeters and then at the rear of the barrel is another smooth section of 9.1 millimeters the overall length is 52 millimeters and the widest part is 7.1 millimeters all right then just have a quick way of these barrels let's compare them That one is 24.09 uh, 24.09 24.12 So that's pretty close again I'll just uh, wear the full setup as it comes Twenty five point seven one. Yep, twenty five point seven one grams. The barrel length is fifty two point one. It's a bit longer than what I normally prefer, but we'll see how it goes when I throw them. I think this part at the front is probably going to be the thickest part. It's 7.14 there. Let's try that again. Uh, 7.14. 
and that middle part is about the same and then it tapers off 6.8 in the middle of that rear grip and then it tails off to the end of the barrel 6.04 so slightly front weighted I should imagine Obviously the balance point gets affected with the length of the point and the stems and, and the flights when you f fix them. Well, I'm just going to try it with the barrel and point. It's a little bit further back than where I thought it was going to be. It's still there, uh, more towards the front. So here's front front weighted. Should even out now with the stems and flights, yeah. So you've got pretty much centre balance there with the stems and flights fitted. It's always a your own preference really but what size stems and flights you use and where you grip the dart and how it affects the balance but I'm sure most of the uh, barrels are set up so that the the balance point is around about the centre when you buy them but that's your uh, broadsaw 24 gram darts by 180 darts it's a really nice designed grip so let's give them a throw and see how they go. Alright, I'm just going to have a few throws with these broadsword 24 gram darts. On the first impression, they feel a little bit front heavy. I know it's the front weighted, but the they did seem to dip a little bit through the air. I'm just holding them just above that first smooth ring, still on a very grippy part of the barrel but my finger isn't really touching this front part this grip it's it's just resting on this move nose the grip is quite edgy actually it's it's more grippy than I was expecting Gives you a good uh, purchase on your fingers. Just starting to get used to the weight of them now.
So getting the hang of the weight is my only problem at the moment because I'm, I'm just holding it there and I kind of like loop me through so these dipping quite a bit. It's excellent actually. You can feel it as soon as you let go, you can actually feel the grip like pushing off your fingers. Alright, well, that's your uh, 180 sword edge. Broad sword, 24 gram darts. A very uh, grippy dart. I think these are probably going to suit people who like to hold it around the front of the barrel. It's a couple of nice features. I do like the uh, smoothness between the point and the barrel. And I would say this bit on the nose is probably just a touch more grippy than the, the rest of the barrel but it's still a very grippy dart um, yeah I think people who hold it around about there are going to like these dart the best but whatever kind of dart you like if you want a grippy dart then something with this sword edge is, is an excellent grip it's going to provide a lot of grip there's a few different ranges in the sword edge so I'm sure you'll find something that you like. So that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.